Hello Leo, this is Rumini Raven from Truth Eternal Transformations coming at you with your second week of November energy reading for my Leos. This could be your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node placements. Please um, look up your chart, type in free birth chart if you're unsure and watch your other signs to see um, if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Also you can comment, like, subscribe to get your energy in my readings. That helps. We go Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node placements for the second week of November 2022. Remember, this is a general. To get a more detailed, you could always go you know, private with me or just comment or let me know below what you would like a reading about or look at my free reading video. Someone is trying to deceive you. Deceits here. I feel like it may be a lover from the past. Be careful of that. You have the angel of strength. You know that they do not serve your highest good. This is. Not for all of you. Happy families here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, placement, second week of November 2022. Energy, please. Contract in reverse. There was a contract with someone that they didn't hold up their bargain on, and it's over. You're on a journey. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, placement, second week of November 2022. Angel of Balance is here. The scales are being balanced in this situation. Could be regarding an ex lover. It doesn't have to be. The Thinking Woman. We're going to break this down with Tara and see what this is about. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Placements, second week of November 2022. Woman with a Heart is here. I wanted to come out in the reverse, so some of you may be going through a breakup period. Man with a Heart is here. That's a divine match to me. But there's indecision about this. Should I move on? Should I stay? Should I go? Because I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? That song, channeled song. Um... Doherty, personal healing and happiness is here. Okay, and it is on the upright. All right, well, let's break this down. We're using the light series here. <clears throat> Thank you for being here. Thank you for like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it so much, guys. And I've been reading Tara for over 20 years, but being here on YouTube is a different energy for me. Um, decided, Spirit keeps saying, you're not supposed to do for others, you're supposed to do for yourself. <laughs> There's um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, could be masculine energy, doesn't have to be, but do you feel that they may be your happiness? But I feel like they're toxic. I feel like they do not serve your highest good. You may be manifesting this person back. Yeah, because they're still a magician, two of cups. Um, take a leap of faith. Hoping they take a leap of faith. But if they haven't changed yet, I don't feel that they will. I'm sorry. They're so easy. I think this person is your, is your soulmate. Sorry about that. Um, you need to build a solid foundation with the next person that comes into your love life. Or if you fix this with the, someone in the past, okay? What is this angel of strength here for? My Leo's second week of November 2022. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Northern placement. Could be a cancer. This is about your happiness. Be strong. Happiness is coming the happiest card in the deck. It's about wedding, celebration, getting together, relationships, love, money, luck, travel. We have the three of cups here. So this could be collaboration with others, um, working in the community together. I feel like you really want this person from, if this is you um, and this was resonating about the person that you broke up with, I feel like you want them to collaborate and work together with you, but they're just not they act like you do, but they don't. Yeah, you want your ten of cups. You want your ultimate happiness. Happy kids, happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah, if you have, happy family's right next to that. What's this happy family about for my leaders? Second week of November 2022. Sun, rising, Venus, North, North, Moon. I forgot the name. Someone is being malice towards you. Son of swords. You feel attacked. Um, you are protected. You need to keep your energies balanced. This foundation is very rocky, not stable, with the four of wands in the reverse. I feel like this isn't your true person. This is, um, a lot of people think twin flames are about the one. It's supposed to be with, but really it's about you healing the divine masculine and feminine within, becoming one with yourself. And it leads you through, you go through these toxic things so that you can heal it through your ancestry and your and heal yourself and heal your family line, okay? You have a, you're destined to be in the spotlight, stardom, win-win situation. What is this contract in the reverse? I feel like this person, if this love situation resonates with you, 
they didn't make the right choice. You chose to ascend, they grow, they didn't. And I feel like the contract is null and void. They are not your, if you've been told before they're your twin, I don't feel like they are. They, contract's null and void. Yeah, you're breaking generational curses and trauma and building generational wealth. One more on that, please, spirit. Be strong, okay? Leave your energy. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node Placement. What's this journey card about? Oh, wait, hold on. They were not... Seven of Pentacles, this goes for the contract, Nolan Boy. Um, they were not nourishing the relationship, nourishing your love. They were busy doing other things and not... Their attention wasn't where it should be. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node Placement. Second week of November for 2022, please. What's this journey card about? Oh, goodness. You're manifesting something. You're on a long journey of building generational wealth. You're about to reap your harvest. Wherever you're manifesting, um, as far as money and justice, somebody's gonna be brought to justice. I feel like it's not for all of you. It's someone uh, maybe facing legal troubles, you could work with the legal field, but I feel like there may be a lover that's in some legal trouble. Or maybe justice will come, karma will come one way or another, even if they didn't cut caught this time. I just heard that. So, whoever that's for, let me know if it resonates. Angel of Balance, what's just Angel of Balance about? God's bringing balance to your life. Fast forward motion with the chariot card, Cancer and Energy, Mark of Activation. You're moving on from this person. You're done with their immature ways. They were not very good with investing in money. Like they were, they spent money frivolously. They didn't even plan and save the way you did or help you. A tower came and it was forcing you to change, or there is a tower coming. You don't have a choice or a sudden change. What is this tower about? Really, uh, secondly, ooh, goodness, from death comes rebirth, so you, this situation had to end, so you could be rebirthed and new and healed for your true divine counterpart, is what I just heard, or, because they're sending you in another option, what's the thinking woman about, so you have an ace of cups, this is a new romantic situation, you wonder what this could be like, and the divine is blessing you with a new cup of love, remember, it's, make sure it's equal reciprocation, it's not coming in as fast as you'd like, I, mean, I feel like you're happy for others and you just want to be happy for yourself, but there is a new area of pa passion coming, okay? So this is woman with a heart. You may you may meet some the new person through friends. Ten of stories, you got seven in the back by this person from the past, so you walked away from them. It could be a woman around the energy. It could be like a baby mama, what I just heard, or like a parent, or the other parent children or something that are being... They may be after your money, so be careful of that. If this is a person from the past, you can, if you're building a business, I feel it will be successful or your money will be good. Page of Wands in reverse. The so things are not coming full circle with this person. What is this man holding on for? Because they are not your true divine match. You need to take a leap of faith and trust the universe to send you and your true divine partner. You need to give up what you think this person will look like, be like, feel like, because they're going to vary from what you actually think that they are. But yet, you will be like yin and yang, okay? And that, yeah. Like, no more thinking about the past, okay? It's okay. Wish them well. Forgive them. But you don't want any more pigs when pigs fly. You know, they would tell you things, and it would be like lies, stupid lies. Like, we're going to do this, or I'm going to do that, and it never happened, right? This person was a liar. And so they have you indecisive, whether to move on, which way to go. What indecision, Leo. Second week of November, 2022. But the divine's bringing you in a blessing, wish fulfillment, okay, for the love you deserve. You could also get a good amount of money coming to an agreement or an understanding that this person may not serve you your highest good. So you're laying your wands down and choosing to move on, come down off that mountain of burdens. What is this door to personal healing and happiness about for Leo? For second week of November 2022, so I'm rising Venus and North Node placement. Yeah. There's the Hierophant. It could be court, legal situation. This person, you may walk away from this person because they're having legal ramifications. This is a way for them to face their shadow and heal. And the water will be through a limit. You're going to calmer waters, okay? So, I hope that this reading found you well, Leo. Thank you for the like, share, subscribe. Um, until we meet again.